describe the nature of your relationship and your communication with KC during the game? And with him being an older guy, are you able to approach some of the stuff, like the way that you coach him differently than you've been with other players? On the game day? Yeah, I mean, when I was asking what he was going to have for dinner, <laughs> reservations for dinner. No, I, I just, uh, for this offense, it frustrated me. And because uh, it's been, I think, four games, we've taken the ball and scored the first drive. And then they just act like, well, yeah, okay, you know. I'm like, we, we don't, nothing against their defense. We don't, we're not going to have this 86 Bears defense, okay? Your job is to score touchdowns. And they just like, you just, you know, you go three plays or whatever, we go 70 yards, and then you just start making mistakes. So, and, um, um, my, my frustration a little bit was taken out on Casey, but he knows that I love him, you know, and, and that, that part, and I think it's, you can't do that with everybody, but he handled it really well, and he responded. You know, he, he responded, and uh, the, t the team responded in the second half, but that's, my, my expectations just seem at times to be higher than, than, than our guys that are playing, and that's frustrating to me, and and because, uh, hey, and I, and I told him that on Monday, you know, or Sunday, we have a Sunday, I know it's a short week, but like, I was not happy with the way we played. Um, you know, I was happy with the way we finished, and then and I told them on Monday, look, all right, hey guys, this is, this is reality. We're in first place, okay? First place, first place, so that's where you're at. So let's go forward from here. And that's what it is, whether you're, you know, we have a chance, and that's all I can ask for in this world. That one sack in particular, before you put Jubba in, seemed to really you know, get you fired up with Casey. But what, I mean, I know you take, it, you take any unneeded sack, it's going you know, to upset the coach, but what, what did you see there? Well, probably like Spurrier said to Danny Werfel, he says, hey, I'm not, I'm not mad at you, Danny. It's my problem because I put you in the game. So that basically is the same thing there. It's like you can't miss that, that, that chance for a touchdown with Craze running wide open in that situation. And... Uh, so you know, he, you know, as I said, he, he bounced back, and and I got to coach him better. My frustration that part, I, I got to coach better. That's, uh, you know, it's, I'm pointing the finger at, at myself, and and uh, you know, so um, you know, because we said the season's, you know, we're almost halfway there, and like I said we got a chance, and we, we've wa wasted so many opportunities, and that is a as a older person, it's like this is. You know, this thing goes by fast, and you, you got to make sure you're, you're on your P's and Q's, and that was the frustrating part. As I said, I don't understand how the first game, when we didn't have that many practices, we don't have a penalty, and then we have probably six in the, in the second quarter. You know, it just doesn't make, make any sense to me. I've never seen anybody in my history, and I told Cork, have two 15-yarders and two back-to-back -back plays. I mean, we talk about these things all the time, so... You know, um, you know that's that's the, the, the frustrating frustrating part, and, and Cork's one of our better players. So uh, Casey's one of our better players, and you know, so I don't know. I guess I and I in my history, you know, when I walk around being a nice guy, it just doesn't work as well as when I'm a dick. Okay, I, I, I don't know why, and that's just what I told the kids on Monday. I said, look, man, I'm not, I'm down here. Just when I have something across my rear end, guys, we just play better, and that's really what it was like at, at halftime.